Gilbert, George, two artists or to one living sculpture? We, we always prefer to say two people but one artist. We always said if you walk over London Bridge, it's a fantastic bridge very near us, where one and a half million people cross in the morning and one and a half million people cross the other way. And it's just like an invisible reality, just this crowd. But if you walk across and halfway across the bridge, you stop someone and take them by the arm and say, excuse me, I would like to say something to you. That will be amazing arresting. He will remember that for a long time. And that, in a way, is what a work of art does. It makes you stop life to think of or feel about for a moment. If, if you take away all culture and all civilization, you have a very cruel, wicked place where you will need a, a bodyguard, no? If you go, we say to journalists who say, what's all this nonsense about modern art and culture? We don't need all of that. We say, well, just try going to a country where there's no university, there's no library, there's no public art gallery, there's no theater, no museum. You will almost certainly need to, to hire a bodyguard in that destination. It's extraordinary. Um, can you speak just a little bit about your project of uh, foundation that you have in, uh, in uh, London, that you bought uh, a place close from your house and you are going to yeah. turn it into a, uh, an exhibition center? It's a, it's a very simple, modest plan we have because, as you know, everyone wants to live forever. And so we, <laughs> we, we bought a very nice old-fashioned property set in a, a strange little garden very near us, an 18th century, not, not listed, not important architecturally. And we will, within the next year or two, we will turn it into a, a kind of Gilbert and George Centre. We will restore the garden. And so that, that will remain with us in the unlikely event in the future we don't happen to be around. Yeah, it's very simple because we realised in these last, I don't know, 30, 40 years that uh, nobody actually wants to show your work. No, like if you go to the Tate Modern Gallery, for the last 20, 10 years, Okay, we had a big show, we managed to persuade them to do a big show of us, but after that they didn't put up, uh, didn't put up one artwork. And we think that's extraordinary, it's criminal in some way. And so that's why we thought we have to do our own revenge and build our own, what they call, little uh, uh, gallery for us. And we, are, we have so many artworks because there are so many artworks that collector would never put on the walls. They are all left behind. The best ones are always the left behind ones because they're very difficult to, they love the shows, but they are, don't, they are not able to put their name to a piece of ours because they are terrified that somebody will say it, it's not right. Do you have any tips, and this might be a question a bit out of desperation, but do you have any tips for art students today? Of course. We only had the same one for the last 50 years. We have our standard answer, which seems to work very well. Our first piece of advice is, is something very connected with us on a daily basis. So we say to the student, tomorrow morning when you wake up, sit on the edge of the bed, keep your eyes closed, and don't stand up until you've decided, what do I want to say to the world today? Once you've decided, it doesn't matter what you do, you're on the right track. And if you can't decide, that's also interesting because it gives you plenty of thought for that day. And the second piece of advice to the students is? Fuck the teachers. Stones we lay every night you find me tired out and worn happy when the daylight comes creeping heralding the dawn sleepy when it's raining and sleepy when it's fine 
La di 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 da 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 da. Pavement is my pillow. No matter where we stray, underneath the arches, I dream my dreams away. I wanted to thank you because it's uh, quite rare that Gilbert and George are giving again this song. The last time I hear you, it was for uh, uh, after the Tet Modern opening. Exactly, exactly. And you said it was the last time. time. <laughs> so, <Very good. laughs> for Venice, you are. <laughs> <laughs>